This is New Day Northwest. Now, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning, everybody. Many people dream of quitting their day job to pursue their favorite hobby or passion, or other people are pondering what to do after losing a position. So how do you take that leap? We asked the owners of two Western Washington businesses to share their story. So joining us today are Bev Courier and Micah Manring, two of the three owners of the Bar Method Fitness Studio in Seattle and Redmond, and Breeze Wetzel, owner of the popular online gourmet site Madison's Marshmallows, based in Sumner. Welcome. How are you guys? So I was really fascinated with you two that you decided to do this business like pretty quickly. Tell me the story. Well, um, Mike and I were both in California and uh, we moved up here to do this and we sat over coffee an hour and a half and decided to partner up and let's do this. And let's how big of a it. change was it to do a fitness studio? What were you doing before? I was in dentistry. And I was in finance for 14 years. So an hour and a half later you decide we're doing a fitness studio. Is that like a flash of intuition that this would be a great thing? Or what do you think really was behind being able to make that decision so quickly? Well, it was something that we were both doing separately down in the Bay Area as Bev was teaching and I was a student. And it was just something that we both loved and wanted to make a change in our own lives and bring it up here, which is where we're both from, and bring something special like the bar method to an area that never had anything like right. it. Looking back on it now, if you were advising somebody else who was thinking of making a leap like that, what would you say is the most important thing for them to either know or consider? I think they should do it right away. Like don't wait. Don't labor like, over don't, it. Yeah, don't labor over it. Because if you think too much, you won't. You won't. Don't take go the two hours. Faith. Just an yeah. hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> just an hour and a half. Make that decision and do it. But you know, if you wait too long, it won't happen. Yeah. What would you say? You just have to take that big leap of faith. Just to have faith that what you're doing, um, if it's something you believe in, you can make it happen. And we feel inspired by other people who have done that, and we hope that we do the same thing. Right every day like we just try and well, it makes sense because the longer you sort of go back and forth and you're on the fence the the fear factor can take over so Bree, tell us your story how did you get started in your business so uh, a few years ago my four-year-old four-year-old daughter asked us how to make a marshmallow and we didn't know so my husband and I had to go figure it out you know she wanted to make marshmallows she's four she's curious uh, we made marshmallows in our kitchen and then they were delicious so we thought <laughs> well let's sell these things and we found a holiday bazaar where Madison and I could go set up a booth and sell marshmallows, and we did. Um, we did that twice that year, and by the end of the holiday season, we had made a thousand marshmallows, just my four-year-old daughter and I. And did you find that people really loved them? They absolutely loved them. And so, so now there is such a thing as Madison's Marshmallows. There is. They were so popular, we decided, well, heck, let's set up a website and figure out how to get licensed and find a commercial kitchen, and let's make marshmallows and sell them to people. And before we knew it, we wow. were getting orders from the East Coast, from the Midwest, from all kinds of people that we didn't even know. And so what were you doing before? So I, I'm, I'm an executive assistant. I have done that for six years. And so this was just a leap into entrepreneurial. I think a lot of people have had that mm -hmm. thought. You know, they've made that great pie or they've sewn a you know really spectacular pillow or something. But something stops them from going forward mm -hmm. and trying to make it a business. What do you think really propelled you forward? Uh, you know, for me and um, for my daughter, it's passion for what we're doing and just having fun. We have a great time together. And I think if you have passion for what you're doing, it helps you push through those difficult times. So if there is something that's going to stop you, stop you in your tracks, you just go back to having fun. Have a good time at what you're doing and the rest will just sort of fall into place. You know, at any given moment I have 10 things on my to-do list that I have no idea how to do. But I'm so passionate about what, what I'm doing in this, right. build, this business that we're building that I just keep moving forward and figuring it out. And it doesn't feel like work when you love it, it so much, all. right? I would think the same thing for you two. Right. And I, in fact, I was thinking about all three of you yesterday. I sent out a tweet about, you know, if it's making you unhappy, set it down. If you like yeah. it, do more of it. I mean, I, it's, it's a hard thing to remember. We do that as kids, and then somehow as adults, we get sort of overwhelmed by the shouldas and not so much with the what we want to, what we really feel like is important to us. Yeah. Madison's here, by the way. She the Marshmallow is. Inspiration is right out there in the audience. Hi there, how are you, sweetie? <laughs> and Bev, your husband's here, right? Yes. Luke? Yes, Luke. Hello, you look fit. I have a feeling you've been taking, <laughs> taking part in some of the bar classes. So as people are, um, you know, for women especially, as we get older and maybe we've done something for a long time and it's time to make a change, how did you guys recognize for sure that you were at that place where it was a good time to do it? 
Well, we were in our, our mid 30s, let's say. And that's not old. Something <laughs> <laughs> around I'm older there. than 20s then, because that's not old. Um, but we'd both been doing something for a long time. Jobs that were you tired of it, or was it just that you you really saw this other thing that you liked better? It was a little bit of both. You know, we were just not fulfilled spiritually or emotionally by what we were doing, and. This, it seems like an exercise method, you'd think, how is that going to be spiritually fulfilling? But you work so hard in every class, you have these, you push yourself through, you push yourself beyond what you think you can do. And in doing that, it, you believe in yourself more and it builds confidence and it makes you feel like you can do anything. And I think the actual exercise method helped us do that and it helped us follow you know, take the leap of faith to, to follow this dream. And our clients, I mean, you see their testimonials and the community that, you know, we've built by, you know, all these people coming, they create friendships and they right. support each other. And, and you're doing a, something that helps other people. Yeah. So the end result of that is pretty positive yeah. and people are yeah. pretty happy when they have your marshmallow. So <laughs> yeah. I'd say you're accomplishing <laughs> something as well. Thank you all very much. I mean, we're gonna put more information about you guys online because it's really inspirational and lots of people are at that stage, either of life by choice or, or by circumstance where choosing a new thing and following a passion can be really important. So thank you for sharing your stories. Thank you. Thank you. We've posted, as I mentioned, things about the bar method and Madison's marshmallows online for you. Bev and Micah are offering everybody in the audience and watching at home one free class at the bar method. That is pretty spectacular. I'm gonna take you up on that. <laughs> and Breeze brought marshmallows for everybody here. So please check out the link on our website for more information. We'll be right back. Thank you very much. That's